The next method of manipulation is worldview poisoning, as we talked about a bit in part one. Worldview poisoning is through constant application of re repeating certain phrases, repeating certain concepts, and putting ideas into people's minds, you get people to look at human nature in a certain way, as damaged, as fundamentally flawed, even upon coming into the world, we're born in an evil state, we're born in a damaged state, in an unpure state. And that isn't really what human nature is. We have to see this for what it is, a method of worldview poisoning. We don't come in evil, we are conditioned through those who have come before us and through the, the bad information that we take in and accept as truth. That's how we become flawed. In, in our ways of looking at the world and of being in the world. This is what human nature really looks like. It is fundamentally good, it is fundamentally uh, nurturing and protecting and uh, wants to help raise uh, ourselves and other beings to higher levels of awareness. <clears throat> um, another way that the worldview is attacked is by getting people to identify their value with a number or a group of possessions. So this has to do with how we view mentally our value as an individual. Do we look at ourselves as how much money we make, how much money we have in the bank, what kind of car we drive, what kind of clothes we wear, what kind of house we live in, you know? Or do we recognize that no value can be placed upon the individual because the individual is of infinite value? And the, infinite, the, the, the individual is an, an expression of infinite consciousness having an experience in the physical world. And if we look at that uh, as our value, then we can't be brainwashed, we can't be mind controlled. Because we'll, uh, we'll recognize the, the spiritual nature of ourselves in others that we're around. In other words, uh, that which is divine in me recognizes that which is divine in you, as in, 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 encapsulated in the phrase namaste, or by the Mayan in la catch. Uh, I, I, I am another you, you are another me, because this is our true value. The controllers want people to think, to mentally believe that there is no such thing as change, that there is a static state it has always been this way, it is this way now, and it will always be this way, and this is simply untrue. This is another method of worldview poisoning, another methodology to control consciousness. I'll often say to people, so much change is occurring, it's almost impossible to keep up with it, and people often respond, nothing's ever going to change, it's always going to be this way. They're a victim of this worldview poisoning that it is impossible to create change because they think that change has to be something that happens instantly on a global level. It doesn't work that way. The global change is happening slowly by individuals changing their, themselves, their, their own consciousness. We have to change and become the butterfly and that's how change happens on a global scale. Okay. So change is possible, thousands of people alive today are evidence of this, and it can be done. It often happens in small steps, and it happens by each individual being the change, changing themselves.